Next time you're feeling low, ask yourself these questions. 1. What can I be grateful for today? What is good in my life right now? Write down three things. Write them down, don't just think about them. The process of feeling what you're grateful for, then physically writing it down, is so much more powerful than just thinking about it. You could be grateful for a person in your life. You might be thankful you have your health. When so many around the world are suffering from excruciating physical pain, you might be happy to have your limbs and full body function, when many others aren't so lucky. You might be happy you live in your amazing country, when others are suffering through war and terrible events. You might be thankful for some great qualities you do have. You know, kindness, compassion toward others, understanding. You might be grateful you're now feeling low right now, because that means something must change in your life. And change can be the greatest time to reinvent yourself, to start fresh and create your best ever life, your best ever feeling state. Two, ask yourself, what have I done in the past day, week, month or year that I enjoyed? List a few things whatever you can think of that made you feel alive in the past year. Whatever made you feel happy. Whatever you did that made time stop. List those things and commit to finding time to do more of that. Don't tie this to people. You're not dependent on another person to make you happy. You generate your happiness and if you think it came from another person, you're wrong. It came from you and the idea you had that you needed the other person to complete your life. You don't. You only need to change your perception. 3. Ask yourself, what have I read or learned in the last day, week, month or year that was positive? What have I done that lifted my spirits and helped me develop my mental strength? Learning is growing. All successful people, and by successful, we always mean successfully happy, content and fulfilled people. They all know that reading, listening and learning to positive and self-development material is essential to a well-lived life. Not just every now and then. Not when you can squeeze it into your busy schedule. Every single day. What could be more important than you feel good? There's nothing. And if you're one of the many who throw around the time excuse, that doesn't roll here. The busiest people on earth find time for self-growth because they understand the fact that a better you is better for all those around you. When you make time to fill yourself up first, you have more quality time for all the people and tasks in your life. When you feel better, you do better. Your family and friends would much rather have you a little less, but fully there in presence, a you that is happy and vibrant rather than you there around the clock but always someplace else in your mind, always thinking about the next insignificant task that needs to be done. Society can easily drag us back into the normal world of stress, overthinking, comparison to others, and forgetting the beauty of life. If you want a better life than most, a happier life, you must commit to do what most don't, and that is find time to work on you every day. It needs only be 10 to 15 minutes a day. Everyone can find that time. Sleep 15 minutes less if you have to. Get up. Get grateful. Get in sync with who you want to be. Get some goals. Ask yourself what you want out of life. Picture the person you want to be. Never forget, a better you is better for everyone around you.